हेलो इंजीनियर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी बर्नॉलिज थ्योरम वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दी बर्नॉलिज प्रिंसिपल हेयर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दी रियल लाइफ एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दी बर्नॉलिज थ्योरम हेयर ओके वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दी द डेली लाइफ एग्जाम्पल्स लाइक हाउ द एरोप्लेन फ्लाइज वट विल वट हैपन्स वेन द स्ट्रॉन्ग विंड्स कम ओके वट इज द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द स्ट्रॉन्ग विंड्स ऑन द हट राइट सो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इट वट विल हैपन वेन द वेन द स्ट्रॉन्ग विंड्स कम देन हाउ द रूफ ऑफ द हर्ट्स लिफ्ट अप राइट we will also discuss about the how the ball swing in a cricket match we will also discuss about the why student we overtake in a road okay and if we do the overtake so we should maintain some proper distance right and in the last we will also discuss about that why this yellow line is given for the safety purpose what is the reason behind it okay what is the reason behind this gap got it my point so let's start the video with what is bernoulli's theorem right so this bernoulli's principle is very very useful in engineering application or in your daily life examples there are many applications where bernoulli's theorem or bernoulli's principle is applicable are you getting my point okay so if i discuss or if we see here the definition so what is the definition of the bernoulli's theorem the definition says that in a steady state continuous flow okay continuous flow in a pipeline the total energy or total head or total pressure means means you can define bernoulli's theorem with respect to total energy with respect to total head or with respect to total pressure it depends on you right so in a steady state continuous flow the total energy total head or total pressure at any point in a fluid is constant this term is very very important that's why the bernoulli's theorem is based on the conservation of energy are you getting my point it is based on the conservation of energy as in our previous video we discuss about the continuity equation okay so continuity equation is based on the law of conservation of mass so bernoulli's equation is depends on the law of conservation of energy means your energy is going to be conserved here are you getting my points you can simply see here at this point okay at a1 and v1 this at this point your pipeline has area a1 and velocity v1 okay and the area of a1 is greater than the area of a2 right here and at this portion from where your liquid is out means the outlet of the liquid okay and there the area is a2 and velocity is v2 okay and from the reference line from the reference line there is the height that is h2 and h1 right why I, why we are considering this example i will tell you that as well okay just see this one okay and as per the continuity equation we discussed in our last video that the mass flow rate at point 1 will be equal to the mass flow rate at point 2 right means your a1 v1 will be equal to a2 v2 because the total flow rate will be constant on this is very very important right okay now see that how can we express the bernoulli's equation or bernoulli's theorem okay so you can simply express the bernoulli's theorem in three form the first one is total energy or total head or total pressure okay by these three terms you can express the bernoulli's theorem right so first of all we will express here bernoulli's theorem with respect to the total pressure right total pressure so here i have written that total pressure is static pressure plus dynamic pressure plus hydrostatic pressure is equal to constant at any point are you getting my point okay so what will be your static pressure your static pressure will be p okay then what will be your dynamic pressure dynamic means there will be some motion okay and that pressure will be with respect to velocity so rho v square by 2 then plus hydrostatic pressure and we know that the formula of the hydrostatic pressure is rho g h okay and it will be constant it will be 
constant are you getting my point so this is with respect to the pressure and when you will simply express its unit so p means pressure so what will be the unit the unit will be newton per meter square same its unit will be newton per meter square and its unit will be newton per meter square it means that you can express bernoulli's theorem or bernoulli's principle with respect to total pressure are you getting my points this is very very simple now if i simply divide the equation number one with rho g then what will be your equation so your equation will be p by rho g okay p by rho g into rho v square by 2 rho g plus rho g h by rho g right is equal to constant by rho g and it, it doesn't make any sense so p by rho g okay that's good rho to rho it will be cancelled out rho g by rho g it will be cancelled out then what will be your equation so your equation will be p by w this is a small w and this is called the specific weight plus v square by 2g plus there will be only h okay now this equation we have written in terms of head okay so it will be your total head it will be your total head means you can express your Bernoulli's equation with respect to total head as well are you getting my point this is also very very simple okay you can also simply like solve this problem like p this is the pressure and the unit of the pressure is newton per meter square and and the unit of the specific weight is newton per cubic meter okay so your unit will be m or or m is the unit of the head are you getting my points okay and also you can express the equation with respect to total energy okay so let me in the comments box what will be the formula of the pressure energy plus kinetic energy plus total energy as you know the formula here of the total pressure or the formula of the total head okay this is the homework for you all please let me in the comments box because you should also know about it right and if you will if anyone will give the right answer so i'll hurt his or her comment right okay so here you can see one thing first of all here we have expressed here we have expressed the Bernoulli's equation with respect to total head or with respect to total pressure now what we can do simply we can apply the Bernoulli's theorem here at point one and at point two if you will apply Bernoulli's theorem here so what you can find you can find the any unknown quantity or any unknown variable means let's suppose if you know the velocity at point one you know the pressure here you know the height so simply you can find out the from if you do not know the velocity of the your point two so you can calculate it with the help of the Bernoulli's theorem or you can you can calculate the height from the Bernoulli's theorem you can calculate the pressure with with the help of the Bernoulli's theorem are you getting my points what I want to say that's why as it is constant so let's suppose we are expressing here the Bernoulli's theorem as total pressure okay so p1 plus rho v1 square by 2 plus rho g h1 will be equal to p2 plus rho v2 square by 2 plus rho g h2 this is very 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 important formula while like in an engineering application or in your daily life example this formula is very very important right mainly while designing this formula is also very very important right so p1 means static pressure at this point okay rho v1 square by 2 means dynamic pressure at the point 1 and same rho g h1 means your hydrostatic pressure at point 1 same here it will be equal to the p2 plus rho v square by v square by 2 plus rho g h2 okay now here is the one thing as well if it is constant then what will happen it will, if it will be constant so if your one term will increase so simply your second term should be decrease that's why after that only it will be constant are you getting my points okay we will also discuss about it later please do not confuse about it and if i express the bernoulli's theorem in a simple language so you can simply say that the speed will be inversely proportional to the 
your pressure speed means velocity i am saying here okay from this point also you can say it okay here you can say simply speed means your velocity i am talking about and the pressure means your normal pressure okay your static pressure you can say so speed will be your speed will be inversely proportional to the pressure this term will very very this term is very very important and with the help of the this term we will explain this some daily life examples here okay we will solve the okay and we will understand this some daily life examples here okay the first example is the aeroplane right and i would like to tell you one thing as your speed increases so what will happen that your pressure will be decreased okay and vice versa is also true if you will increase this one so what will happen that this pressure should be definitely decrease okay and as your pressure will be increased so your speed will be decrease are you getting my point okay now how the aeroplane lift so this aeroplane has a proper structure okay and on the basis of this structure the bernoulli's principle applicable here how just see this one okay so what happens that there is the two streamline the first one is upper streamline and the second one is lower streamline so if you will see this portion of the aeroplane so it has a shorter distance to cover and if you will see this distance of the aeroplane so it has to longer distance to cover right now what will happen that it has a longer distance this one has a longer distance and this one has a shorter distance so what will happen that yes it will have low velocity low velocity and it will have a high velocity right so now we know that if it has a high velocity so at the upper portion of the aeroplane or, or at the upper portion of aeroplane there will be low pressure zone same at this point it will be your high pressure zone because here is the low velocity now maybe you can confuse that sir how here is the high pressure and low velocity and how here is the low pressure and high velocity so the reason is that there is the two streamline and that both streamline has to reach here at the same time right but due to the structure of the aeroplane what is happening that this streamline has to cover the longer distance the upper one and the lower one has to cover the short distance okay so what will happen that it will have simply the shorter distance or the shorter velocity and it will have a higher velocity and we have also know that as the speed increases so your pressure decreases so that's why this term will be your okay so what will happen that there will be the low pressure okay now we know as per the pascal's law we know that at any particle the pressure is applicable from the every side okay from the each side so what will happen that so as here the low pressure region so what will happen that from here from the from here the high pressure will push or lift your aeroplane okay so what will happen that the lift will occur that's why your aeroplane lift now you will now you can ask one question that sir how this aeroplane will take off so with the help of the this this is the wings with the help of the this wings so it adjusts the area okay and area plays a very very important role here and okay with the help of this this aeroplane take off are you getting my point so this is very very simple and please relate this with this one okay why i said about it okay please relate these both terms are very very important the pressure energy and the kinetic energy is very very important the kinetic energy is based on the simply your velocity and the pressure energy is based on your pressure right p that is very very important if you if you have understood about it it will be better for you in your daily life to understand the bernoulli's theorem okay and if you if once you have understood the concept so you can easily apply it on the problems okay if there is any numerical problem so you can simply solve that problem and you can understand that problem very easily got got it my point okay and now let's see the second example the second example of the bernoulli's theorem is that strong winds 
when the strong winds comes or the heavy winds come so what happens that sometimes you will see that at the hut okay in the hut what happens that this roof okay this roof just go away okay this roof just go away why i'll tell you see here as the high velocities winds come as the high velocity high velocity winds come so what happens that simply as the high velocities winds come so it creates the low pressure region here at the top it creates or it okay at the top the low pressure region creates or or you simply you can say becomes okay so what happens that as there is a low pressure region so from the bottom okay from the bottom pressure there is the pressure okay as we have already told you at the body the pressure applied from the everywhere so what will happen that from this bottom pressure it will the bottom pressure will be act proper okay and there is the low pressure so what happens that every time pressure will go from the higher side to lower side okay pressure will go always from the higher side to the lower side so what will happen that this roof of the hut will be go away in the time of okay and at the time of the strong winds are you getting my points what i want to say because of the lower vision why this lower vision comes into the picture because of the higher velocity or higher speed you can say are you getting my points now there is the very 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 interesting example of the bernoulli's theorem that is the swing of the ball okay ball swings how the ball swings so simply here you can see that one player just throw the ball or he he is trying to swing the ball so how it will swing the ball simply in this ball as well the pressure is applying from the each side and there is the velocity velocity of the air as well right so what happens that when from our hands we simply give some velocity okay we simply we simply give the velocity at one side as we give the velocity at the, or we increase the speed from the one side or the velocity from the one side so what happens that at one side let's suppose here at one side the low pressure vision creates at the one side low pressure vision creates so what will happen that if there is the low pressure vision will create so from here the high pressure vision will force or simply say that the high pressure vision will impact from here and your ball swings as simple as that please understand it logically okay please understand it with the help of the pressure okay how this pressure is going to play the important role here what you are doing you are simply increasing the velocity at the one side of the ball and at the second side there is the pressure is applied okay there is the pressure is like playing a important role because at the another side there is the low pressure vision creates because of the velocity right so that's why this ball swings and this is very very important in the cricket match and this change the sometimes this change the result of the game right and in the fourth overtake in the road you will have seen that in a many times there is the road accident okay because of the overtake okay so why this happens okay the main reason comes here that this is your bus okay and let's suppose it has a some velocity right from one velocity is running okay now here is the one person who comes from the bike and what he is do okay he just comes very close to this bus so what will happen that because of this bus is running with the high velocity so at the at the nearby region of this bus there will be the low pressure region will create okay so because of that what will happen that as this person will come in contact with the this bus so there is a low pressure region is there okay so this the atmospheric pressure will impact here and what it will do it will simply force this bike or this person to the bus side okay to the bus side because there is the low pressure region so because of that the many times the accident occurs are you getting my point what i want to say this bus has a high velocity so because of that the nearby region of this bus will have a low pressure region and when this person will come in contact with the bus so the atmospheric pressure will simply force this person towards the bus and there there may be accident okay that's why 
you, like usually you will say that what will what happens that the whenever you are doing the takeover please maintain some distance okay please maintain some meters distance okay and in the last there is the one very very useful and the daily life example is that you will have seen in the metro and in the like train there is the yellow line at the platform there is the yellow line yellow safety line is there why this yellow line is here because when this like metro and train comes from the high velocity so what happens that there is the low pressure region creates there is the same low pressure region creates so what happens that usually like it is suggested that please away from this yellow line so that you could be safe otherwise what will happen that this low pressure is because of the this low pressure region there is the okay because of the this low pressure region this okay if there is any person is here so it will the atmospheric pressure will simply force this person towards the towards the direction of this metro and there may be some accident are you getting my point what i want to say so what will happen because this train has a high velocity it it has a high velocity so what will happen that because of this high velocity the low pressure region will be create here and the atmospheric pressure will impact here and this person can go with the direction of this matter okay and in the direction of this matter are you getting my points so these are the examples of the bernoulli's theorem these are the examples that the speed is inversely proportional to the pressure okay how this speed and the pressure comes into the picture okay the relationship this relationship comes into the picture with the, with the help of the bernoulli's principle okay here we only discussed that when the velocity increases when the when the velocity increases so your pressure decreases but there is a one thing as well as pressure decrease as the pressure increases so your velocity decreases okay can you let me in the comments box can you give me the some examples of this so here is the one example is that lake the second example is sea there the velocity is very very less okay the minimum because there is a pressure is maximum can you give me the another example of that okay please let me in the comments box so thanks for the today's video if you have any question in this video please let me in the comments box i read your all comments okay and simply like this video subscribe our youtube channel if you have any doubt let me in the comments box also suggest us that which topic we should cover in our next video so thanks for watching till then keep learning